you've got to get your travel set up right. And once you get those, your life just turns out, like it just turns around for the better. So I do always travel with my Peak Design packing cubes. And let me tell you, hands down, best packing cube. Do you take best. the packing cubes out of the bag when yes. you get to your destination and put them in the drawers? Yeah. And but so, they're soft side. They are, which is my only qualm about them. But it's not it's like not really a beef with the Peak Design Packing Cube because I love their soft material. It fits in the backpack perfectly. But for what I'm needing, like, what is it, the Monos Packing Cube? Mm -hmm. That would actually sit in the drawer perfectly to hold Those up shirts. Though. Those are made for large suitcases. Yeah. If you guys go on the Monos website, which is something we talk about often because we have Monos... We share a Monos bag. We don't it's share a it. shared she, bag. She has the Monos bag now. Um, I had carried the duffel. She has the rollerboard. There's, their packing cubes are literally not made for the carry-ons. Yeah. They're too big. And they say their compression, really what they meant was we added a zipper around it, but it doesn't work. So here's the thing about packing cubes. If you have a, like a compression packing cube, and really there's no compression, unless you have a vacuum packing cube. Right. Um, but, which don't exist. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, I traveled with a vacuum bag and let me tell you what I realized when I got to where it's I was heavy. going. It's heavy. No. Oh, <laughs> I don't have a vacuum in a hotel room. <laughs> I opened my stuff and then I thought, I didn't think this through, did I? How did you get it all back after the, after that? I only ever opened up one of my bags. So I had three vacuum seal bags. This is when I was moving back from Japan. Three vacuum seal bags. I had opened up one and that's when I realized my problem. Thank goodness I hadn't opened up all of them. So I ended up wearing the same three outfits every day. I literally just wore the, like this dress every other day, two dresses every other day and then put on shorts when the dresses were in the wash. Shorts and one shirt. But I mean, with packing though, that's the thing. You yeah. really actually, if you got, if you are over packer, all you're doing is creating like more work for you, more folding. Right. You don't even yeah. need it because you're not going to wear all of it typically. Yeah. So I would say that if you packed a like tw 25, well, hmm, 50 items, know that you're not going to, 15 that's of them you crazy. actually don't even need. That is crazy. But just quick, circling back to the packing cubes, because I don't want to leave you hanging on this. Oh. I do just want packing to cubes. let you know, when you get a firm fabric packing cube that's supposed to be compressible, what happens is that there's an internal zipper that you zip. But that fabric is going to get, because it's so firm, it gets caught in the zipper all the way around. So I have never used the Monos ones, but I bought another packing cube off of Amazon that was like that, and I hated it. I ended up never compressing it. But when you get the Peak Design one, the material is made out of this really thin ripstop, mm -hmm. which if you think about a parachute fabric, and you're like, parachutes are heavy, but think about like a thinner version of it, mm -hmm. that's what it's made out of. But then the side is made out of a mesh, a really thin mesh. So when you zip it, it mm -hmm. just kind of folds in and it doesn't get caught in the zipper, mm -hmm. which is why it's such a good packing cube to put in a backpack. But that's also why it's not a great packing cube to put in a drawer and try to pack your stuff out of. Because it's like collapsing. But yeah. link in, like the link in the description box below yes. so that you can get the Peak Design packing and cube. I'm I, just going to go ahead and save you money. You don't need the medium and the small. You just need the medium. It really? holds a ton. So you wouldn't do the small as a, like you have one medium, one small, and then it fits everything like for like underwear socks, et cetera, you put in the small and then your larger items you put in the medium. So let me tell you, here's what's crazy. You would only do that if you're not using the Peak Design backpack, which sounds so crazy because basically the backpack is considered three units mm. and a unit is the same size as the small packing cube, three side by side. The medium packing cube is two units. So if you put the medium and the small in. Oh, I love it. So the yeah. packing cubes literally are made to specifically fit yeah, but here's the thing. So you filled up your medium packing cube, you filled up your small packing cube, which consists of three you units. Yeah. Your bag is three units. What are you missing? You're missing shoes, toiletries, tech. Oh. You have no room for that. But the small one I thought would leave enough room for another one. They, Wait, you can yeah. get two mediums in or three smalls in. You can get yeah. one medium, one small, or three smalls. 
Oh, I misunderstood. Yeah. Okay. So what peak design bag do you have? So I have the peak design travel backpack, the 35 liters that expands to 45 liters. Mm -hmm. And now whenever when I travel with it, I travel with a medium packing cube. Then at the top of it, I'll put in my tech, or I'm sorry, my toiletry bag. But do you, is it a peak design one? The packing cube? No, the, the travel, the toiletry or the... I Are wanted, those gravel? They're both gravel. I use gravel. Okay, so yeah. the, does the peak? So you wouldn't know if the peak design one is designed to. to I would, because I bought the peak design wash pouch and it was a little too small for my needs. I put it like this. Wash pouch. Yeah. Well, I mean, instead like of a toiletry bag, they call it a wash pouch. Oh, okay. So it it does it fit the bag though? That's really my question. It's a little bit narrower, so it's supposed to be made to go in the top where the bag kind of curves. So mm -hmm. what are you doing with all these bags? Can I get one of them? I, I had to send back the wash pouch. It was just oh, too okay. small for what I, I needed. I, for I mean, I've offered to give you the Gravel Explorer Max bag, but you said it was too big. It's huge. Okay, so mind you, like, I'm just going to go through the bags that I have. Cause she has a ton. I like bags. And you have to know what's perfect and not... I have a shopping habit. Ev okay, Judgy. Everything isn't right for... Look, Big Sean said it. Everything ain't for everyone. Quotable. Quotable. So I have my medium sized peak design packing cube. Then I'll put my Gra gravel Explorer plus toiletry bag, right. which is almost just like the perfect size. I'm not going to lie, like just half inch bigger and it would just be perfection. Like a half inch um, wider, not deeper, would be just everything I needed. Then I bought the Gravel Explorer Max because I thought, well, if the Plus is a little bit too small, the Max is going to be just right. But that bag is massive. It's, like, I took it with me when I went to San Miguel. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, it's great for, like, a month, but it's also just too big. It takes up too much space. Have you ever felt inadequate in your packing, like, I should have all these specific bags that I don't have, that I should have, but I don't have? Like, literally, I, I think my toiletry bags are, like, I've gotten them from Target. Don't judge me. Um, judge and me. Yeah. I got one from you that she you didn't want anymore. Mm -hmm. That actually is really nice. Yeah. It's the one that zip tops. It has the makeup part on the box. I love that. It's a great way to hold your brushes. And then the bottom is nice. And it's really good for, like, powders and things like that. I want to get those. Not to take away from your love from gravel bags. But I want to get those little magnetic... Um, joints that like pop together yes i do like but this. they're like the little canisters that hold liquids they're still supposed to be 100 milliliters oh. or three ounces oh each. i know which ones you're talking about but i can't remember the name i want to we'll buy those below. i'm gonna buy those i have kind of wanted to get those do you too. think they're worthwhile you know what that's here's the thing the reason why i have so many bags and why i've gone through so many is because you never know until you get it. And it's not like one, you can't do one thing by itself. It's an ecosystem. You, this like, is true. You do have to buy what they make to yeah. fit everything. This and those true. have to go into the right bag because they could be the perfect canister to hold all your liquids. But if you can't find a bag that they fit in nicely, then it's just a waste. I want to get an away bag. So I have a really large oversized check-in bag which is absolutely unnecessary mm -hmm. i did it because i was moving back home so i bought it but i want to get the medium size carry-on but i'm going to try away the away brand mm -hmm. because i feel like i've seen those around and they look quality to me they look like they're they're still rectangular enough that they'll fit mm -hmm. but not like circular i don't like the hatchback suitcases yeah you can't what get waste anything in those like dell tech i don't really like it mm -hmm. um to me I haven't really seen too many hard side Toomies I'm in love with, mm -hmm. but um, definitely yeah. I'm going to try the Away brand to see what theirs look like, and I feel like they are the apple of suitcases, although Mono says they are. You know what? I love, I actually really have gotten used to the Mono's bag, but I will say the corners are a little too rounded mm -hmm, to be mm -hmm. like totally efficient. Mm -hmm. There's something about it that feels like you're oh. losing space with right. that. But I would say... Before you pick up a new suitcase, I actually have thought about this. I put a lot of ideas into how you need to build your travel, like, setup. To me, you start with your toiletry bag, your wash pouch. That's the basis of everything. So mm -hmm. you buy that, then you buy the bottles that are going to go into that. Like, 
typically those goo bottles are good. Are they called yes. goo bottles? Uh, I think they're like goo tubes or goo something. Goo tubes, they're nice. They're like yeah. silicone, messy enough to get in. I like mm-hmm. I like those if you have to get something. I love those because once they squeeze down, they're not taking up any more space than they right. need to. I really do want to try the Matador flat pack toiletry bags. Mm-hmm. They're basically the same idea of what you do with your liquids. And because <laughs> so you put your they are yes. I've seen them. They're like the little they, pouches yes. that they. I mean, Ziploc yeah. is Ziploc is okay. cheaper than the Matador. So here's what Misty does. She takes all of her liquids, like say she's bringing a ton of gel, and she puts it into a Ziploc Ziploc baggie, the little sandwich kind. Yeah. That's like a box for seven dollars. Yeah, but <laughs> and if, they're disposable. But they could burst very easily. Whereas the Matador flat packs are the same idea. Then they have a little tube at the top of them. They're easily refillable, and they're a little bit more sturdy. I just take the Ziploc bag with a a a wood spatula, <laughs> and just go in, and it's very it's very eco friendly. It's all possible. Awesome. I mean, that totally makes sense, but for me, I, so I would start with your toiletry bag. That's okay. how you start first. Then you get into your tech bag. Okay. So you have to figure out how to arrange your cords. From there, you've got an idea of your sizes and your shapes. Mm-hmm. So now you get into buying, whether it's a backpack or a suitcase, then you buy the backpack or suitcase that kind of fits those shapes. Right. Then finally, you get your packing cubes that match that go in there. And something like the Peak Design, it's a square, which is nice, but it's super moldable. But let's say you don't have room for a square, then you can do, I think they're called the Eagle Creek Packing Cubes, because they're nice rectangular, almost look like a 8.5 by 11 um, envelope. Okay. So that's the order to me with which you buy things. And if you do it step by step, then you can buy nicer things. Because I'll say, I've bought a ton of $20 toiletry bags. And when I finally sprung and got like my $70 toiletry bag, which I know, I, it was, yeah. I, but I, I agree. I think it's quant, it's a quality over quantity. When you're mm-hmm. younger, you buy a bunch of cheap shit because that's what you can afford. Yeah. And you think that it, it, it's better to just go with like the 10, 15, $20 option mm-hmm. as opposed to just springing for the quality item. Now there is a difference between going from like a, so I bought some stuff at Target mm-hmm. then to like saying, I'm going to go for a name brand pouch. Yeah. I want to like, there's a difference. I'm yeah. going to get like a Louis bag or a whatever toiletry bag you find that you think you need. Mm-hmm. Then going for a company that's specifically designed for travel. Yeah. So there is a difference from like, I'm going to just splurge on this thousand dollar Louis um, toiletry bag, which still is ergonomically not going to meet what you, what you need. Because you're not paying for the design, you're paying for the name. Exactly. So then yeah. you just are going for... You're upgrading to better functionality, and that's what she's saying. That's all for this week, but the trip doesn't have to end. Link up with us on Instagram at Flirting With Travel, or check out flirtingwithtravel.com for itineraries and more travel hacks. Taking off, love you.